We're talking to Prof. Hendrik Swar today, Senior Professor at Physics. Welcome, Prof. Thank you for joining us. Please tell us all, how did you become a researcher? Thanks uh, for inviting me. Um, I'm coming from a very small town, Gekwastad. So when I came to university, I was supposed to study, become a teacher. So I got a, a, a bursary from the Department of Education my first year. But then I got a uh, call from Naskim, as part of Craig Corps in the United States, and they, they invited me for an interview in my second year, and they gave me a bursary for the rest of my, my studies. Oh, wow. So I was supposed to do some research at Naskim, so that's where my research started. started yeah. Oh, wow. Prof, tell us, what are you currently working on? Well, I'm everything is glowing, you know. The paint that you're using to, you, to that glowing in the dark, that light that you are using there, light emitting diodes. Okay. So we are we are trying to to produce light that's more efficient than our current light, lower uh, lower watt, watts. So we want to reduce energy, you know, the energy use energy and, and, yeah. and better efficient uh, LED lights. Uh, we working on solar cells, we adding some thin films of our fossil materials on on the um, solar cells to increase efficiency. We are adding some of our fossil materials into glass. Yes. Okay, and that's supposed to scatter the sunlight okay. to, the, to the sides, and then we gather the light at the side, it also uh, you know, add it also to a solar cell. You basically the light at the end of our tunnel. That's what you say. Yes, yes. We're trying our Great best to, to do a lot with, with, with fossil materials. Uh, and uh, we recently started the project on thermal, thermal luminescence and we're doing some temperature measurements. Okay. So you don't have to, to, to touch something to know the temperature. You can just look at the color that's coming from, from that guess. subject and then you can determine the... Okay. Temperature of that. And also uh, gas sensors. Yes. So the phosphorus are also used for, for gas sensors. Okay. Prof, tell us what research gaps have you identified in your field? Well, I'm telling you the, the material that we are using is rare earth materials. Um, we use them in all our phosphors. Yes. They are very expensive. Okay. So in. Um, China and India, I don't know where they're getting it from, so it's cheap that it, it, you can, you know, you can buy a light bulb for 20 rand. Yeah. If we buy the, the phosphor material that's inside that material, it's three, four, five thousand rand. Oh my word. So I'm not sure how they do it, but they, they're supplying the rest of the world with, with, with this material at very high cost. Yeah. So we can, we can really work towards materials that's not containing these rare earths, you know, that's, that's giving light out with your Okay. That, that, that's going to be a, a breakthrough. Oh, lovely. Prof, what words of wisdom have you got for other aspiring researchers out there? What can you tell them to encourage them? Don't stop dreaming. Excellent. You never must never stop. stop dreaming. You know, I'm coming from a very small place and I visit a lot of big places in, in all over the world due to research. Oh, definitely. So young people must never stop dreaming. Yeah. Nothing is impossible for that. Very, 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 very important to yeah. remember. Prof, one last question. What do you do to relax? What do you do as a hobby? I'm a part-time farmer. A farmer? What do you farm? I'm, I have cattle, I have uh, some goats, and I have some sheep. Oh, lovely. So you enjoy that? Definitely, yeah. Okay. I wish I have more time for that. Then. But, uh, <laughs> no, we need you for a while, so figure the right <laughs> thing out, please. Prof, thank you so much for joining us today, and we want to wish you the best going forward. Thank, thank you. you. Thank All you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.